Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D. So we're going to get straight into it, man. We got Max Kellerman reacts to LeBron James calling out the media for not asking questions to him about Jerry Jones as they did to Kyrie Irving. So let's get straight into it. So the, the, the first thing he asks rhetorically is why he's asked about Kyrie. Something that jumps to mind is he's played with Kyrie. Kyrie plays basketball. This is about football, etc. However, the bigger point he's making. He just wanted to talk about it, Max. Right. But the that, that was point, his way of getting into what he wanted to state. The bigger he's point he's issue. making is true, which is we rushed by it very quickly. And no. by the way, by the way, it's okay to say, like, like you know, that, that was a long time ago. People change. I agree with that. No. However, no, no, no hold on. No, it ain't. You say what you want. No, However, it ain't. don't tell me I was curious. <laughs> right? Like, you got to own it. If Jerry Jones had come out and said, I've changed a lot. I'm a product of my environment like everyone is, and, and I've grown over the years, and I'm not proud of myself when I was 14, but I'm not 14 anymore, guys. I would respect that. I was curious doesn't cut mustard. Um, yeah, you, you, mustard. you're probably right. Uh, his choice of words to try to describe or explain why he was at that event at that point in time in 1957, Trash. probably, you know, look, we're not stupid, okay? In 1957, he was in an environment in a certain region, a section of the country that Trash. had a lot of racist... Uh, racism, a lot of bigotry, all of those sort of things. We know that. Yep. And typically, in that situation, at that time period in this country, you are somewhat of a product of your environment. Mm -hmm. And had he come out and said that, then maybe it looks a little bit different. People probably could understand it a little bit better, knowing that you, you know, you, you, you grew up around this. So until you had an opportunity to grow up and become an adult, you remove yourself from those circumstances. But because he came out and tried to dupe everybody and just, oh, I was being curious. I mean, like, come on. Here's I, don't go to, yep. I don't go I to su some event just to be curious in them situations. So I, 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 I've been don't. Been, I mean, Max, you and I have been talking about this. And I was going to say chomping at the bit, champing at the bit, as you probably taught me how to say all week long to talk about this, man. Um, there are two quotes I really want to break down. I want to do it with you guys in real time as this exercise. First quote that he said in response to it, I don't know that I or anybody anticipated or had a background of knowing what was involved. It was more of a curious thing. That was a quote that you had mentioned, Max. Second quote, nobody there had any idea, frankly, what was going on to take place. We didn't have all the last 70 years of reference. You didn't have... Not taking accountability. Not taking accountability. A reference point there. Yo, hearing that, I, I, I don't want to hear that from Jerry Jones. What? Like, I, I don't want you to absolve yourself and everybody else there. So, I, look, the whole, I'm not going to hold a 14-year-old accountable, right, if that was curiosity. Because I wasn't there. I don't, I don't know what was going on inside his brain during that particular time. But I do know that everybody else that was there, it wasn't just curiosity. There were racist people there. And what I need Jerry Jones to do, which I haven't seen him do throughout George Floyd, throughout every stuff. You hey, you know what? I think we're gonna say that for another video because uh he's about to go off on them. So we're gonna say that for another video. Let's focus on Max. Have a point of view, and the other people feel that when they have a point of view, but there are moments in history where there is there's unambiguously, there's clearly and definitely the good guys and the bad guys, right? So, you know, the second world war, if the Nazis are coming, those are the bad guys. Um the this is a moment in our history where black school children were trying to go to school <laughs> and there was an angry white mob outside of young men intimidating them. Those were the bad guys. Those were the bad guys. Jerry Jones stood with the bad guys unambiguously. So again, he was 14. I agree with that guy. Like I agree with the yeah, fact that's a long time ago. Okay. We must give people room to grow. Agreed. And he was a kid, but I 100% no. agree with what you said. Own it. Say, you know, say, even if I, even if you are curious, you say, look, I was genuinely curious, but in retrospect, obviously, no, I could see where that would be intimidating. At least something like that, at the very at least. least. But Max, even after George Floyd, you do not get to stand on the sidelines and just watch. Like, you can't at 80 years old be that 14 year old kid who's poking his neck up to see what's going on. May I try to encapsulate? You like, know? I think what the, the, what, what the conversation here is revolving around is, Key, you're saying it's not a matter of immoral or moral. It's a matter of amoral. Morality is not yes. what said. And what Jay, it seems to me, is saying is, nope, amoral is not an option. If you are amoral in, in a morality, in, in a situation where morality is central, then you are immoral. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, it's the Martin Luther King line. In the end, we will not remember the words of our enemies. All right, there we go, man. So we got Max. It's not a matter of immoral. So, so we got Max talking about the situation. Um, I want to uh, separate it because I know Jason Williams is going to say his thing. And I definitely want to react to uh, Jason Williams. And I, I respect Max. Uh, you know, he's 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 a person um, 
that understands what's going on. He's a Jew. Uh, I like I, I like Max, and uh, I just want to play his his response. So y'all leave a comment down below, and y'all let me know how y'all feel about Max reacting to LeBron James calling out the media about uh, Jerry Jones. All right. Next, we gonna listen to uh, Jason Williams. So y'all hit that like button, man. Y'all hit that like button because I got a lot of content to post today. A lot of content. So y'all stay tuned. We got more content coming up, man. It's your boy, DMD, signing out, y'all. Peace.